Let's go. It's just getting better. And mind body are completely intertwined. <laughs> Get it, girl. Mm. Yeah. We're in it for the long haul. You have to be confident to be a great athlete. My performance can be a hundred times better if I do focus on recovery. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not fun. But if I need to do it, I'll do it. I've been an athlete since I can ever remember. I'm Patricia Domingo. I was actually trying to bring my boxing career to the next level until I saw that the path was not gonna work for me. I became a personal trainer. I became a boxing instructor, but because of the fact that I'm not competing, when it comes to training, I don't take it as serious as I used to. I said I wouldn't quit. The five years an athlete, I, I lost it. And I want it back. I'm starting this process of rebuilding myself and my mindset as an athlete, and I do not know what to expect, but I'm up for anything. In every athlete's mind, like the dialogue going on is like, how can I get better? And with that comes a lot of self-criticism. You kind of end up thinking about where you're not as good or like where you're, you're falling short, but there's always a wall you hit when it's all about criticism. So it is hard to like see the things that you want to improve at, um, you know, and it can be overwhelming for sure. Yeah, so it's really important to also like know our strengths and like making sure like we're also building those to be more confident and like a better athlete. That's just something a lot of female athletes struggle with. So my homework for you is to like practice thinking about your strengths and like just write them down and then let me know if that is like something that helps you like going forward. As an athlete, we train to critique ourselves. That's the only way that we get better. We can see what we need to work in and we get better at it. You know, that's how we grow. With that being said, it's really hard for me to see what I'm good at because all I see is, hey, I can get better at this. It's been really hard to see my strengths. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna watch my old fights. And hopefully that helps me to see a little bit more of my strengths. It's so hard. She got me in the ropes. She got me in the ropes, but I fight back. I keep catching, I keep blocking those, but I don't do nothing after. I should do something after. Come on, girl, you ain't tired. Ah. Come on, give me some jabs, Patricia. Come on, Patricia, give me some jabs. <laughs> I sit down and I have my piece of paper and it's white, you know, and I put a list saying things I need to get better at or I need to improve, and then things that I'm good. And all I feel out is the things that I need to get better at. It's been really hard to actually say, this is what I can bring to the table. That's crazy. If you sit down and you have a blank piece of paper and someone says, think about your strengths, that's really difficult to do. But when you start to think about what situations have you been in? OK, I've moved cities, I've moved countries. That can then be the trigger to go, OK, well, what did I need? So if I move cities and I turn up there and I knew nobody, what, what did I have to do? What skills did I have to use in order to then make a life for myself there? You know, reflecting on those situations can help us to then generate some of the strengths that we have that we otherwise sort of almost like disregard. OK. The other thing that can be worth doing is to try and seek some feedback from other people. So think about who are the people you really trust, who are the people that know you really well, and ask them the question, like, what strengths do you see in me? Because that feedback can make us feel really good, but also it can prompt us to think, actually, that's a really interesting point. I hadn't, I hadn't considered myself in that way before, which can be really helpful. Yeah, you're making me feel so happy right now. <laughs> Hold on, gotta take notes right now. 
So it was so hard to see my own strengths that I actually had had someone to help me with it. It still took me, and it's still taking me uh, longer than I thought it was gonna be to actually talk about what I'm good at. Now that I watched some of my old tapes, and I also have my friends helping me out, looking into those strengths, it's getting easier and easier to acknowledge them. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good for once to give myself some credit, to believe in myself a little bit harder and better and bigger. I would love to find a way to make this a default. Do you ever um, use visualization at all? It's, it's a really, yeah. really powerful tool and I really encourage you to do it. And, and actually there's some really good examples of this on the Under Armour Performance Academy. Michael Phelps has got some um, videos of it on there in terms of doing visualization, which I encourage you to have a look at. But from a like, neurological perspective, when we do things, our neural pathways are being activated. So electrical signals are being sent through the body when we do something for real when we visualize what we know is that those pathways are still being activated so what that means is it's almost like physically preparing yourself physically priming yourself to do the action mm -hmm. and what happens is every time these pathways are activated they become stronger and uh -huh. the stronger a pathway is the quicker the information travels from the mind to the body and throughout and therefore it enables you to do the skill better so it's yeah. kind of the reason people say don't practice bad habits because then you kind of ingrain all the unhelpful things Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Just thinking of what you're good at right before training and then having that in mind during the whole session. Now I know what I'm good at and now I'm going to fight for what I'm good at. So that would come from like perseverance to strength to um, determination, um, intelligence. I just thought that that was a great, great, great exercise and that you can apply so easy into your life, so easy into your life. Hi, Bella. <laughs> I'm just checking in how everything went. I was struggling at the beginning as we talk about the strengths. Then I sat down with some boxing experts and we went over my technique and my performance. And I feel like the confidence that I had in myself improved and I got better. Yeah, it's easy for me to forget like what I'm capable of if I'm not feeling confident. But something that's really worked for me is like having a highlight reel of my greatest moments on the court. And I can go back to it when I need to remember my strengths, remember what I'm capable of. Awesome. I'm really excited about that. It's going to be really good. It gave me power. It gave me so much confidence to see that I was able to do that. It was sick. Like, and obviously I'm talking about sports, but you know, I'm sure it can be related to so many other uh, environments in our lives. So it's it's a great, great, great reboost of energy, and I 100%, 200% suggest you for you to do it. Peace out. <laughs>